Hello lovelies, we just have two months left until exams start, which is soon. They're getting pretty soon. So we need to change up the way that we are advising and we need to change up the way things are doing. So in this video, we're gonna go over what to do with just two months left before exam starts. So we need to think about some focused revision time. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we are comfortable revising. Now I don't mean like comfortable with the stuff we're revising, but we're revising in a comfortable situation and in a comfortable way. So grab your super comfy, super luxe revision hoodie. Make sure you've got a clear space to study. So I mean like not lots of distractions going on. Like my desk is awful. It's got loads of all over the place on my desk it is not like the best place to study and work so loads of stuff all over the place a clear study space where you can focus and not be too distracted this doesn't have to be a completely separate desk in your bedroom or downstairs it could be like a table in the kitchen it could be a bit of the kitchen counter if that's all you can find this will work really well but try and make it as clear and as focused as possible if you can't get quiet space to study in, then just putting on some headphones and putting on some chill, not distracting music to help you focus. This is a perfect opportunity for you to go and watch my 24-7 live stream chill revision playlist because I'm on there chatting, answering questions, and it is just loads of really relaxing chill music to help you focus and study. That was the point of me setting it up. But it is also a place for you guys to chat about what is going on. We need to make sure we are rising comfortably in our comfortable revision hoodies. Link in the description down below. I hate it, it's so cheesy, but they're really nice. Um, and then make sure you've got a comfortable place to study, that you are sitting comfortably, you've got a decent chair, you've got pens, you've got water or juice, and you've got something healthy to snack on, like banana chips are great for this. And then what we need to start doing with just two months left is to start looking at papers. Now, let's go back to four months ago, four months, when we were four months revising, you need to go through the knowledge checklist and find the gaps in your knowledge. If you haven't done that, go and do that now. With three months to go, we are working on our recall. So doing short answer questions, multiple choice quizzes over my website, retrieval questions that maybe your teacher had given you. Now, with two months to go, we're gonna put all of that into practice and start doing papers. Now, I do not mean papers in exam conditions. I mean really relaxed, we're still really chilled about this, really relaxed papers. So we're gonna be doing open book papers, there's not gonna be a time limit on them, and we don't have to do them in exam conditions. But we do need to start getting used to exam papers. So you need to start getting used to what they look like, the feel of exam papers, the idea of exam papers that you might have one question that actually draws from a few different areas of the course. So it might have something you did at the beginning of year 10, uh, or it might have something that you know you've just covered in class. Even if you're in year 13, it could have some really, really basic knowledge that you learn in year seven. Um, drawn in to this question because this is the kind of way exams are set up it's not just this question is about this it'll be this question is about this area but there might be one or two marks that come from a completely different area that is linked to this now we know even with the advanced information that we have been given that some of the content in the exams if it's not listed may still come up in these linked questions so with one or two marks um, in a large question which has been given in the advanced information so we know those sort of things will come up so start doing exam papers. Now, if you can't get hands on exam papers from the exam boards, there are loads over on my website. And the predicted papers for 2022 will be out at the beginning of the Easter holidays. So we're not gonna be doing those yet, but practice papers, past papers from other years. So sit there, have the paper open in front of you, look at the question. If you can do the question, brilliant. Do the question and move on to the next one. If you're not very confident about it, then go and watch a video, go and look it up in your revision guide, go and find the answer. This is still revision. Looking stuff up is not cheating. 
This is not an exam. We are not in exam conditions. This is revision. I know lots of people worry about doing kind of like open book exams or exam papers where you're looking stuff up and thinking that it's cheating. We're not doing that. We're not at that stage yet. Next month, over Easter, I will start talking to you about doing exams and exam conditions and not looking stuff up, but we're not there yet. We are still really gently dipping our toes into trying exam papers just to get you used to the feel of how things are, to get used to what they look like, to get used to the questions, the style of questions, and really, really importantly, I want you to look at the mark schemes to get you used to what the examiners are looking for. Because so often when I'm marking papers, it will be a student got like three out of four marks, and I know that they know what the fourth mark is because it's kind of like, they've not said it, but they needed to be able to like know it to work out this bit, this bit, and this bit. But they haven't written it down. If you don't write it down, you can't get the marks for it. This is especially true in something like maths, where you get your marks for working out. Um, if you don't write it down, you can't get the marks for it. And the way that you know what sort of stuff you need to write down is by looking at the mark schemes. So do the question, whatever subject it is, go and look at the mark schemes and try and mark it. And if you're losing marks on exam technique, this is where you're going to pick it up. You'll notice what words aren't allowed in mark schemes. For example, in science, the word amount is a pointless word. You can use mash, you can use volume, you can use concentration. There are so many better descriptive words that will get you marks. The word amount won't get you marks because it doesn't tell you anything really but even as kind of like a teacher i know you know what you're talking about you just haven't written it down properly looking at the mark schemes doing open book papers is the way to make sure that we start writing stuff down properly so that you can show the the examiners that you know what you're talking about this is your chance to do it so get as many papers as you can um, and try and do them open book low key, um, no stress, and mark them. You don't have to tell anyone about the grades, you don't have to go and give this to your teachers. If you've done a paper in class already, that's not a problem, just do it again. This is revision. The point of this time is to do as many, many practice questions as you can, so that when you go into that exam hall, you sit down there, you fill in all the details on the front page, you open up the book, the booklet, and you're like, I recognise this question because you've done it before. Because you've done so, so, so many of these questions before. That is what I want for you when you go into the exam hall. So, two months left until exam, guys. Do some open book papers. Really low key, really no stress. Go and look up the answers if you want to. Uh, make sure that you are getting comfortable study space, so not only with what you're wearing, um, but with the way you're studying and what you're listening to. Make sure it's all as chill and relaxing as possible. Good luck with everything, guys. I know that it's starting to get close, everyone's starting to get a bit nervous, but do not worry. I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way. I'm gonna be putting loads of videos out, and then I'm gonna be on the live stream chat as much as I can. I promise you and me we will get through this together.